what is going on guys I welcome you to your fourth HTML5 and CSS3 tutorial by ifectner.com and in this tutorial series we will be making a full functional website and these tutorials are aimed at beginners to intermediate level programmers so now we will continue our discussion on making all our sections right now our web page is just a simple old boring white page with uh, some logos and uh, just uh, with some links but we would like to make it something like it and right now you would be thinking how the hell we are going to do that <coughs> excuse me so we would be using the CSS cascading style sheet external cascading style sheets to style our sections uh, these sections into this format so trust me and just bear with me so let's make our sections and articles now so I go to my template.html file and under the aside tag I use the section tag the section tag uh, uh, is basically the main body tag or the main content tag of your website under the section tag we can have different articles so uh, we would like to have two articles one would be HTML5 and CSS3 tutorials and the other would be computer networking tutorials so in my section tag I would add another tag another child tag that is the article tag and I close the article tag and under the uh, article tag I know I would be using uh, heading 1 and that heading 1 would say HTML5 and CSS3 tutorials and uh, I close that tag and uh, under that tag I just uh, want to add an heading 2 and uh, which would say that these are the video based tutorials and I close that tag now whenever we are using uh, uh, headings it is better to give uh, to uh, to use the H group tag to group those uh, uh, headings so it would be easier for to format in at the later stages so I use H group tag and use uh, sorry I use both heading 1 and heading 2 uh, under that H group tag and we would be uh, giving IDs to all these tags later on and uh, uh, under that heading I just want to add a paragraph uh, for all my HTML5 and CSS3 tutorials uh, please click here or whatever you would like to write you can do that and I close that tag and uh, one more, more thing uh, guys and girls that uh, you can uh, give uh, divide your article into three parts that is your header part your main content part and your footer part so uh, how can we do that that is simple that uh, if you want to give it uh, uh, under the header tag I use the header tag so we would be able to uh, stylize it in with yellow background so I give the uh, header tag under the article tag so you can uh, our article uh, has also got the header tag the main body tag and the footer tag so I give footer by ifectner and I close that footer and I close that article so I would just uh, copy it with control C and paste it with control V and I would just make some changes I do not want to type it again so I just say networking tutorials video based tutorials for all my 
in networking tutorials please visit html uh, ifactner.com by ifactner.com and so on and so forth now we have got uh, our articles in our section so I save it and run it in Chrome and check now that we have got two articles and this is our left hand bar right this is the navigation and this is our uh, header so now we want to make a footer so how can we make a footer with the footer tab a tag so I just uh, use a footer tag if it's not formatted right I just use the tag tab and I close the footer tab and on, in the footer you can write anything so I would say copy rights by I com and I save it and I click on run launch in Chrome and now we have got uh, all the tags if you would like to see so now we have got the uh, by iFactner and copyrights by iFactner.com tag so now we have made uh, all the sections but now we need to format those sections in some, into something like this and for that we would be using an external cascading style sheet the style sheet is used to um, um, for the styling purposes of your page right now your page is simple old dump white web page and it's not very attractive so to make our style sheet we click on file new in the notepad plus plus you can use notepad if you would like to and I click on file save as and I save it as type CSS cascading style sheet and this is the cascading style sheet and I would name it let's suppose effect now we have got an ifactner.css file cascading style sheet and a template.html file and now we would like to link our web page with the cascading style sheets and start beginning our styling and usually we uh, uh, link our cascading style sheet in the head tag so uh, I would use style sheet okay uh, guys and girls we would uh, do it in our next tutorial so because the time is up and we would uh, continue our discussion so take care bye bye